Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your April 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading Cancer and pull your overarching energy or message as we always do for the month. So what do we have for Cancer please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Cancerians that flew out. <laughs> Judgment. Okay, message for Cancer, please. Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Cancerians. Thank you. Okay, we have get more information. It's interesting that goes very well with judgment. Okay, so I'm going to pull four cards. The first card, Cancer, first week, second card, second week, third card, third, fourth card, fourth. And then we'll go deeper into the message by clarifying the cards. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you as always. Okay, so what do we have for Cancer, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Cancerians. Thank you. Message for Cancer. Thank you. Knight of Wands, card of Sagittarius. Okay. The Devil. Card of Capricorn, we have the Ace of Swords. And the Lovers, card of Gemini. Okay, message. I'm just sorry, I'm just put these the right way around. Message for Cancer, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Cancerians. For April 2021, please, can we clarify the cards on the table for Cancer? Thank you. Thank you. Card of Taurus, we have got the Hierophant. Cups, Cancer. Okay. The star. And we have the Knight of Wands. Oh my goodness, Cancer, we've got the Ace of Swords again. So two Knight of Wands, two Ace of Swords. And some kind of judgment call here. It feels in this energy to do with love, romance, relationships. There's a judgment call. But a message to make sure that you're making the right decision for you. Because, you know, there's karma with this. So some kind of decision is generally final and stays with you for quite a while. So the message is, if you're making decisions or choices, make sure you're fully informed on the decision, implications, and so on and so forth. Um, interesting energy, Cancer. You know, there are sometimes there's, there's two paths here. You have an opportunity to stay on the path that you're on or to go in a different direction. I'm definitely getting this energy of some kind of new direction, new path is open to you. And it feels to do with a relationship or relationships. Yeah.
The Knight of Wands is a card of inspired action. A green light to go for something. Um, I'm going for this. This is what I'm going to do. There is some kind of impulsive energy as well. Can be a little bit impulsive, the Knight of Wands. He's not quite mastered. He's, he's more experienced than a page, but he's not quite mastered the suit like a queen or a king. So there is still a little bit of fire, impulsiveness, uh, rash action to do with the Knight of Wands, which is why you might be talking about before you act rashly, just consider all possibilities, you know, again, the Hierophant is, is a card, it can be a card of spiritual wisdom, it can be a card of um, asking uh, the mean, it can be a card of the meaning of life, you know, what do I do, why is this happening to me, you know, which way do I go, you know, it can be a card of finding some spiritual wisdom. So it might well be for some of you, there's, there's really before you take action, maybe some consideration thought even this can also be a card of advice from a spiritual teacher or holy person but the knight of wands is a card of inspired action and it's a card of inspired action for change i'm seeing this associated with you cancer i mean the knight can also bring in some kind of opportunity here something exciting whirlwind kind of energy some kind of offer can be to do with a committed relationship. It feels in this energy, it's interesting. It's interesting the way that the cards are laid out because I'm definitely getting this energy of the knight is almost kind of like turning their back to the devil. And it's almost kind of like you're running towards this lover's energy. The Hierophant can also represent traditional institutions, marriage, long-term committed relationships. So for some of you, you might be, sometimes this is an energy, you know, of getting, you know, I sometimes see this Knight of Wands as getting back on the horse, taking the reins, getting back on the horse and going for something. And you generally feel with the Knight of Wands, he leaves the challenge behind. He's almost kind of like, oh, thank goodness I'm putting that behind me. I am charging ahead and I'm not looking back. You know, it's that kind of energy. I want to go for growth. I want to go for my passions, my desires, what fulfills me, what is going to bring growth and success into my life. And I'm not interested in what's gone anymore. I'm just leaving it behind me. It could be for some of you, especially with this card, it feels that there has been a a committed relationship that you're ready to put on put behind you because there's a green light to go for something now because the ten of cups is a card of love i mean this is blissful love relationships but with the devil which can be a card of oh it can be a card of toxic relationships unhealthy relationships power struggles imbalance instability codependency addiction and something that's very difficult to break free of because the devil's so alluring and attractive, you know? So it definitely feels that some kind of long-term committed relationship here, Cancer, went sour. It feels it turned sour. And it's been difficult to break free of, but I'm definitely getting this energy of you're finally ready to put it behind you because I see this liberating energy, cutting cords, ready for a new path. And it's interesting, the star in the, in the major arcana, it comes after the tower, truth, revelation, deep change where there has been instability this tower comes crumbling down and this is sense of renewal hope rebuilding uh, finding the new path you know it's that kind of energy the new hope the new faith the new optimism uh, renewal of self healing nurturing uh, receiving blessings from the universe 
And it definitely feels for some of you that you're getting that clarity in how you want to move forward now. But I'm definitely getting this energy, this, this, this crown is you claiming some kind of power over what that devil represented to you. So claiming, and it definitely feels some kind of, it could have been a, a relationship here that just wasn't for you anymore. And there's this energy of finally there is some green light here that is happening where you're ready to just finally put it behind you. You could have physically walked away from this for a, for a, a while ago, you know, but it definitely feels with this Knight of Wands, something is inspiring you to act, to bring change to your circumstances. And what is that? Well, it's the blessings that the universe wants to bring in, new love. Yeah. The Knight of Wands, it feels like with this energy, there is new love open to you. Um, sometimes this can also be a card of choice in love. So if it's not new love for you, Cancer, you might be making some final choice or decision in terms of love, romance, relationships. Now, these cards can also represent third party situations. Um, so if it's not new love for some of you that you're riding towards, it feels like you're ready to put behind, you're ready to make some kind of decision, deal with something, and it feels like cut cords um, and break free from what this devil represents. But this can also represent harmonious relationships, love, two people coming together, the harmony, the harmony, the blissful relationship, uh, two people who fit each other perfectly. So it can be that kind of energy as well. But this Ace of Swords, it feels there's a, some kind of decision, mental clarity epiphany, sword of truth, uh, seeing through the illusion maybe of what that devil represents, where you're ready to just break free. I mean, it definitely feels in this energy, cutting cords, breaking free. Um, and this is a new beginning and it, it comes, Cancer. You know, you see a lot of mountains. You've overcome a lot of obstacles to get this sword. And the universe is recognizing that, recognizing that you've overcome these obstacles to come through the other side of a situation and just deal with something, bring change. Yeah, it feels like you're taking action to do with some kind of difficult relationship. There could have been third party here where some truth had come to light here and you're ready to deal with it does not limit it to third party. Like I said, the devil can be an energy of just instability in whatever form um, it is. But it definitely feels there's breaking free energy, taking the reins and the green light to go to take action in whichever direction you want to go. And I think it's resulting in some kind of judgment call. So either this is towards new love for some of you or it can be some kind of choice or decision that you're finally making in terms of love romance relationships because there is the clarity there is the cord cutting there is the breaking free energy there is the powerful new beginning energy but this is you claiming a victory over the devil um and in, in your power you know the crown is your power uh it's an honor energy as well claiming your honor your truth, letting the truth set you free. Yeah, let's get a card. I'm gonna get an advice card. Any other advice for cancer, please? Angel spirits guides. Any other advice for cancer, please? Yeah, I mean, I see that cancer, the nine of swords, stress, anxiety, worry, sleepless nights. And that is when we give, it's an illusion in a way because it's when the negative has power over us and specifically our mind, the way we perceive something. Um, that is the illusion of the Nine of Swords. 
And that's what the epiphany, the, the clarity is saying here. You're suddenly getting this epiphany, this moment of clarity, lucidity, when you're understanding how you want to take action. And it's resulting in bringing change to your circumstances. The Judgment card can be a card of forgiveness, letting go, um, but it can be a card of uh, now is the time to act. Something will happen that will, re will require you to act. Okay. Yeah. So we have the Eight of Pentacles here. Small steps bring giant leaps, working through it, getting back on track, focusing on the practical things that you need to do to bring stability and security back into your life. That could be in terms of money and career, that could be in terms of healing, that could be in practical things that you need to do. It can also be, you know, again, this information energy. Just make sure you understand all the information implications of any decision that you take. So that you're fully aware but we have a great awareness energy with the judgment um, and karma powerful karma but it feels like there is some powerful breaking free energy some epiphany that's coming your way here cancer it definitely feels like there's potential for new love here i'm going to pull a card for the lovers let's clarify the lovers So, you know, it could be with the Taurus. Ah, actually, we have Taurus here as well. <laughs> you, could be, you could be riding towards a Taurus. You know, you could be riding towards a Taurus here. We've got Taurus with the King of Pentacles, male or female energy. But this is your heart's desire, happiness, real hap Wow, real happiness, fulfillment, contentment, all those cups being filled and uplifting, uplifted. Um, going for your heart's desire so it definitely feels there's somebody new in the frame here a Taurus or what a Taurus represents so stability security somebody who's bringing stability back into your life they don't play games they don't manipulate they are what they say they are they speak what they feel they deal with facts um you know there's no hidden agenda here or you know that kind of energy so I'm definitely you're going towards some kind of stable relationship and there is, it's so uplifting. It's so uplifting. And you're working through it. It feels like you've been, you're working through the challenge, but slowly but surely mastering it. It's very beautiful energy, Cancer. Really love the information there. So I'm going to pull a final message. Final message for Cancer, please. It's a new relationship. Yeah, <laughs> field mouse success, believe in yourself and dare to dream big, <laughs> which is interesting because the star is an energy of divine wish fulfillment. We have the nine of cups as well, which is wish fulfillment. Um, but this is also a card of dare to dream. Oh, wow. This is so beautiful, Cancer. You know, it, it feels very, very beautiful indeed. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.